Throughout the ages, compassionate, enlightened masters have urged people to surrender to the greater universal power by seeking the divine within, from which all other goodness and happiness follow. Supreme Master Ching Hai often spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of fellow initiates during international gatherings or through tele- and video conferences. On October 3, 2010, Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly and graciously answered the questions of Supreme Master Television staff about the sun and other secrets of the universe. We now invite you to listen to Part 7 of the 12-part series entitled Revelations on the Magnanimous Sun and the Universe, a video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai and Supreme Master Television staff in Los Angeles, California, USA. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Master, in one of your recent teleconferences with us, you affirmed the existence of parallel universes. Could you explain more about them and how they work? There are uh, parallel universes so that we can choose our action and choose the outcome, okay? Yes. If we choose this, then it's a different outcome, a different future for you. And if you choose that, then it's a different future for you. That is so-called parallel universe. Understand me? Every yes. time you choose a good thing, you enter into a parallel universe, which is better for you. Anytime we choose a less good things, then we enter into a worse parallel universe, which is not too good for us. All right? Thank you, Master. Uh, Master, uh, my last question. Have the moon beans and the earth beans ever been in contact with each other? Yeah, every full moon or so. Okay. <laughs> you can see. Right, right. <laughs> they always see each other all the time. No, you mean the spiritually, huh? Yes, You Master. mean the beings, uh, not just the physical appearance. Okay, I understand. Just pulling your legs. Now, they do visit each other sometimes. Okay, Master. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Hope you're happy with my answer. Yes, you I'm You curious always. chocolate piece <laughs> of lovely things, lovely beings. <laughs> you get sweeter every day. You get darker in the California sun, so it's more and more like dark chocolate huh? with uh, sugar or all the fruity flavor shook. <laughs> <laughs> well, with all the revelations on the sun, I think I'll definitely get out there more. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you look sweeter anyway, baby. You look Thank sweeter you, than before. Thanks to your grace, Master. More well, mellow. Thanks to your grace. Okay. Hi, Master. Hi. Um, my question is, are there more Earth-like planets in our galaxy that are currently inhabited with humans? Lots and lots and lots and tons and tons of them, honey. Wow. So don't be too proud that you're the only human beings on the only planet, all right? Yes, Master. The people are so beautiful like you are tons and tons in the whole universe. Wow. <laughs> Earth like us are tons and tons, okay? Thank you, Master. Um, yes, all right. How many are there, and can Master tell us a little bit more about them? How many? My God, please, uh, don't always ask about the number. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are similar to our civilization, yes? Some are more benevolent and more developed uh, spiritually and technically, some are less, okay? Yes, Master. Some are more developed spiritually than us, some are less spiritually developed than us, but more technologically advanced, you know? And some are balanced, yes? Uh, I can't count, sorry. I, I have to go back to kindergarten. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I can't count, sorry. There's okay. so much, my God. 
Yes, recently astronomers discovered a relatively nearby Earth-like planet called Gliese 581g, and they say it's probably the most Earth-like planet yet and most likely to be inhabited because it's orbiting right in the middle of the habitable zone where liquid water could exist on the planet's surface. And the scientists are also amazed at how quickly they were able to detect this planet and how it's relatively nearby our our own planet, which led them to believe that there must be many, many planets like this, and it must be really common. And the Tell you. Yes. <laughs> and the Professor Steve Vogt of the team said, personally, given the ubiquity and propensity of life to flourish wherever it can, I would say my own personal feeling is that the chances of life on this planet are 100%. I have almost no doubt about it. I uh, I just wanted to confirm, Master, is there life on this planet? And if so, what kind of beings live there? Are they like us? And will we be able to contact them in the near future? Hmm. It could be a long, long, long time. Yes, there are beings on these planets, of course. This I have told many times. Yes. Okay? Yes. Um... Maybe if we are good, <laughs> they will be contacting us. Or maybe we are good, so good that we could develop more high-tech, yes, incredible technology, then we can go there. Huh? Okay. Thank you, Master. Yeah, you're welcome. They look like us, huh? Many of the planets they look like us, like people, okay? Yeah. Hello, Master. Italian. Hello, Italian. Hello, Master. <laughs> how are you? I'm okay. okay. Okay, the question, Master. How is our Earth ranked on a scale of spiritual evolution compared to other planets? What makes a planet more evolved than ours? Okay, we are ranked as high-low. <laughs> <laughs> high-low means we are on the low but the high, not the lowest of the low, but the high of the low. Okay? Yes. That is our spiritual evolution, yeah. I'm not talking about individually, I'm talking about the planet, human race as a whole, okay? All right. What makes a planet more evolved? Spiritually, highly elevated, and morally higher, yes? Okay? Spiritual awareness and practice. That's what I would sum up. That's what makes the planet high, okay? Yes, Master. Master. Right. Master, you mentioned once that you could feel the love of the Earth when you walk barefoot. Yes. Would you say, Master, that the Earth can heal us? Yes, yes. Yes. Can, can. Mm. Do other planets have these same healing effects on its inhabitants? Yes, 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 yes. It depends, yeah? Some Earths also have higher level of development than the other Earth planet. The beings as the Earth planet, some are higher, some are lower. And the living beings on this or that planet, some are higher developed spiritually and some are less, you know, developed spiritually. So it also get healing power accordingly, you see? Healing power from the earth, also according to the earth being, yeah, uh, spiritual power. Also depends on our spiritual power as well, to get healed or not get healed, yes? But uh, accordingly, the earth gives to all, the earth gives to all. It's just we, we take and we digest and we manifest differently this power, okay? So sometimes people walk barefoot to get the benefit from the earth, the, the earth uh, energy, yes? Some people go to take a mud bath, yes, I get better. Some people even take clay as preventive medicine to heal themselves or to uh, maintain the physical body, okay? Right. Yes, Master. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Hi, Master. Um, why are there highly developed spiritual beings living in physical planets? Uh, it's for your sake. Oh, I see. To bless you, mm, to help you to develop like they are, okay? Okay, my sister. It's sacrifice. 
But they don't think sacrifice, they, they do it for love, okay? Okay. All right, for example, your best friend, sick in the hospital, you, healthy, beautiful, pinky, uh, lovely, attractive girl, why do you go sit there all night with the sick? Huh? He looks terrible with all the pipes on his nose and all the tubes on his mouth, in his mouth, and all the bandages all over him and all machine attached to him. He doesn't look like a, even a human being. Why you go there, sit all day, all night for him? You even eat there. You even wipe his uh, sloppish uh, mouth water coming out. And you, you even dry his uh, sweat. Huh? And wake every time he moves. Why is that? For love. Yes, Master. Would you like to sit in the hospital all day or night doing that? No, of course not, huh? You sit there because of your best friend who is sick, who needs you, who loves to see you whenever he opens his eyes. He feels better, comforted, okay? You do it for him, no? Okay, yes, Master. Same. The highly developed spiritual beings, they come here, they don't like them, they so cause suffering for them, mentally, physically, spiritually also, but they came. They know all that before, but they came because of you, okay? Okay, yes, Master. You have to thank them profoundly, sincerely, humbly, all of them. Without all of them, we're so dead, okay? We're so dead, spiritually, mentally, yeah, all kind, all the bodies dead, <laughs> not just physical body. Okay. Thank you, Master. And the next question is, why don't they just stay in heaven? Why did they have to take a physical form on a physical planet? Just the same, honey. I told you, love, hmm? compassion, compassion for you, <laughs> for you, for you alone. <laughs> For all of you alone. Yes, For each one alone. <laughs> okay. Would you rather they stay in heaven? <laughs> huh? uh, would you rather they didn't take physical form? You, you would rather them be here, right? Okay. That's why yes, they're master. here. Hmm? So we pray for them to come down to help us. Many people do it. Uh, is there any difference between different galaxies in terms of spiritual levels? Yes, 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 of course, of course. Just like different nations on our planet have different uh, development. Huh? Okay? Yes, Master, okay. Thank you, Master. And okay. are there visible celestial objects that are higher than the fifth level? No, no. Even lower than fifth level, fourth level, third level, you won't see it. <laughs> Not to talk about invisible <laughs> celestial objects above the fifth level. No, we couldn't even dream about it. Okay? Okay, Master. Thank you, Master. All right. If you are at the fifth level planet, if you are already there, live there. And sometimes maybe the sixth or seventh level can visit you, huh? But not <laughs> here. Not even invisibly. <laughs> I see. Okay. Thank you, Master, so much. Hello, Master. Hi. Hello. Master has mentioned that never before has there been a widespread spiritual practice like now. For example, uh -huh. with Supreme Master TV transmitting Master's lectures. Uh -huh. What about other planets, Master? Have they been blessed with widespread spiritual teachings? Mm, some, some, some. I was talking only about Earth, okay? <laughs> I was talking about this physical planet has never been blessed. It's such a, a widespread spiritual uh, knowledge, yes? Yes. Uh, in the history of humankind, in this planet. But some other planets have similar situation when they're blessed enough or when they're in urgency <laughs> enough. We appreciate your gracious presence for today's episode of Between Master and Disciples. Join us again next Monday for Part 8 of the video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai entitled, Revelations on the Magnanimous Sun and the Universe. 
Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Animal World, our co-inhabitants, coming up next right after Noteworthy News. May your heart be filled with joy and tranquility. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.